Hi, so recently GraphPad introduced Prism version 8, which is another great leap forward in the functionality of their software. But one of the little things I just wanted to go through uh, in this brief tutorial is just to compare the visual appearance of version 7 and version 8 when it comes to management of your information and data. What we've got on the screen is uh, Prism version 7 and I've got a file loaded uh, from my demonstration selection uh, on which I've created a layout with two graphs. Uh, here's graph A and graph B. Graph A and graph B are taken from my graph collection which is listed here on the left hand side and I'm showing the data for experiment 1 and experiment 2. I also carried out experiment 3 but you can see here that the experiment 3 is not in bold because it does not appear in the layout. If I wanted to find the data set for instance for experiment A I would have to click on the layout work out that this was experiment A by holding my mouse over it and then go to the top here and click on experiment A data and now I can access the data for experiment A. This is okay when you've only got a couple of graphs on your page or you've only got a prism file with maybe, as in this case, one or two extra graphs. Now you'll notice since I've selected experiment A in my data table, the results of the analysis for experiment A, the graph for experiment A, and the layout which contains experiment A data all appear in bold so I can then track through to find out where these data appear in PRISM. With version 8, which I'm switching to now, we have a very similar layout. The same file appears to be on the screen. We've got very similar layout of buttons. But what we have down the left hand side now is this little draggable family section down the bottom. And the family section shows you everything that's related to this layout. So I'm selecting the layout number one and I can immediately see there are two graphs called exp1 and exp2 and I've got the data tables for x1 and exp2 shown in this little family selection. This is a really really handy feature and I applaud GraphPad for including it. It does mean that if you have multiple layouts with multiple figures you can very quickly track down the data set from which that figure is derived and also the graph from which that layout is derived. So for instance here I can immediately see that experiment 1 is here and it takes me straight to the experiment 1 table. As before, now I'm in experiment 1 table, you'll see that the family has changed and now tells me that the experiment 1 table has a one-way ANOVA as part of its little family and also the experiment 1 graph and layout 1 appear as part of the family. This is a really great feature. It allows you to navigate through your data sets very quickly uh, and well done GraphPad for including this in version 8 of GraphPad Prism. Thank you.